Okay, so we are out at 5617 uh, Whitley in Watauga. So I just kind of want to show you the neighborhood a little bit. Uh, I know we drove by the other day. Um, it's still quiet. For whatever reason, today there's um, a little bit more road parking. So it's interesting. I've already walked the house and it looks like it's in really decent shape. Uh, 5617 Whitley. The house isn't fully guttered, so I would encourage you to add those gutters. That's not an expensive thing to do. It just helps save on your um, foundation potential concerns. So you see the roof slant there. You have a little bit of, you know, maybe a paint job that might need to occur on some of this yellow paint. It looks like they came in here with a darker tone for some of the soffit and stuff, probably when they replaced the roof. Um, this one car garage is actually a one car garage, so you can get a smaller vehicle in there, and I'll show that to you. But great lot, kind of bigger lot, cute brick. Um, see how the gutters there, they kind of start at the trim, but then they didn't go all the way through. Great landscaping, it's a, an, a lady in her 60s single with a couple dogs that live in the home currently. She'd need about a 10 day lease back, but great storm door they added on, so that's nice. Uh, added level of security, so it's a nice storm door. So come in right to the main living. The floors are beautiful, and they look like they're in pretty good shape. We don't know if they're wood or a laminate, but they're in good shape. So, um, no real fireplace, but a good size main living. A little bit of a vaulted ceiling. And all the bedrooms are right here on the right. Come down. It's got linen closet here. On the right are the two guest rooms. And they're okay sized. Nice, clean, fresh paint. Nice ceiling fans. She's taking, it looks to be that she's taking pretty good care of the home. So that's good closet here. Pretty basic closet. The carpet looks like it's in okay shape. At this point, I don't really see anything major that would need to be done. Um, here's the one bathroom. Very cute. She's done a great job on her design choices. Everything looks to be in pretty good shape. Nothing major, I don't see. Other guest room. Pretty similar. A little bit smaller, maybe, than the other one. And then across is the master. So like I said, all the bedrooms are, this is a closet, go closet, a little bit extra storage space there. And then your master bedroom. And it's a decent size because that is um, a queen bed and it's a big piece of furniture. And again, big dresser and big nightstand. So it's an okay size room, um, looks out to the backyard, but we'll go out there in a minute. But it's a good size backyard too, beautiful tree. Here's your master bedroom. It's nice, all three rooms have ceiling fans. Paint job's good, the carpet's in okay shape. Probably needs to be cleaned just because of the dogs, but. And here's your master bath. And same tile as is in the other bath. It tiled all the way up. And the tub looks like it's in good shape also. And the closet over here. It's not huge, but it does give you the two stacks on each side. Okay, 
right, uh, let's go into the living. The windows look newer. Cute little Eden area with Tony. Tony's great. French doors are there. They're very cute. Um, they came in with this butcher block. It's very pretty. It's a darker stained butcher block. So sink underneath the window. Dishwasher. Pantry is here. And washer dryer right here on both sides. Fridge. And electric uh, sofa. And there's the garage. Literally a one car probably could get Madison's car in here and that's about all you're getting in here. Cute backyard. Um, the fence looks to be in decent shape. It's got metal poles. Uh, maybe your back fence line there might need a little bit of work. But great big yard, big beautiful trees. Some of this covered porch area may need a little bit of adjustment. But really cute, really quiet back here. Shed there. And I don't see anything major. Um, that I would be concerned about. I see some stuff that may need a little bit of touch up or fixing like this on the porch. So a little bit of water moisture issues, but again, not really affecting the structure of the home. I don't see anything crazy. Um, you're not going to have grass over here just because these trees have covered so much of the property. So that's it. Five, six, one, seven. Whitley and I will send you this video.